from hanging out with actual gypsies to prepare for his role to smoking over 3,000 fake cigarettes on set, here's Killian Murphy's take on transforming into Thomas Shelby for Peaky Blinders. The Irish actor claims he had to spend time with Brummies. This post-World War I gangster thriller series had the world in a chokehold from the moment it first aired in 2013 up until its final season, which was released in 2022. Fans would literally go ballistic, waiting for their favorite tortured ex-soldier turned gangster boy to return to the big screen. And this continued for almost a whole decade. During the six seasons of the show, it gained a 93% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, reached almost 6.2 million viewers, and won several awards, including the BAFTA TV Award for Best Drama Series in 2018. If we're being really honest, a large chunk of the credit for the show's success goes to Killy for his exceptional portrayal of Tommy. No wonder he won the TV Choice Best Actor Award for his performance. Not once, but twice, in 2018 and 2022. But this sort of success doesn't just happen overnight. Part of the reason why Killian was so good at playing Thomas was because he put in a whole lot of effort to pretty much transform into the character. In fact, he even changed his friend's circle. That's right, in the words of the wise Thomas Shelby, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. So Murphy had to work extra hard to get rid of his Cork accent and sound more like a regular old guy from Birmingham. When speaking to Radio Times, the Batman Begins actor revealed that he had the show's director, Stephen Knight, introduce him to his friends in Birmingham, just so he could pick up on their accents and learn a thing or two about the gypsy lifestyle. Turns out, they used to hang out in pubs together. In his interview with Radio Times, the 47-year-old went into painstaking detail about the process behind his accent transformation. Apparently, Stephen took him to an actual garrison pub in Birmingham with his brummy mates. They had a very typical boys' night, drinking Guinness, singing Birmingham City songs, and telling all their little stories. But Murphy felt a bit like an outsider. He was obviously the odd duck. In his own words, the Irish actor felt like he had no iota of commonality, even with Stephen. But then again, that didn't really stop him from trying his best to gel in. He actually went as far as to pull out his phone and record the stories they'd been sharing just so he could listen to them later and try to recreate the same accent. He would call Steve and just leave voicemails in the Tommy accent to see how close he was getting to nailing it. Now that's commitment. Oh, and if you're wondering why it was so tricky for Murph to drop his original accent for the show, because actors do it all the frickin' time, let's just remember that this guy literally grew up in Ireland in a Cork City suburb. On top of this, his parents were both Irish academics. Killy's dad, Brendan, is a member of the Irish Department of Education and his mom is a French tutor, so he basically had no exposure to the street talk of Birmingham City. But Murph needed to do more than just sound like the part. He needed to look the part too. That's why Killian Murphy trained extremely hard to get fit for his role in the show. Every time Tommy took his shirt off in the show, you'd probably hear the distant echo of a fangirl screaming her lungs out. All the girls wanted him, and all the boys wanted him. But that kind of physique isn't something that's built overnight, nor is Killian one of the genetically blessed, naturally toned and muscular dudes, even though that's what it seems like. But Murphy spoke about his struggle with his body weight in an interview. He expressed that he's not really all that imposing, and he was afraid he'd end up looking like a skinny Irish fella, because his natural build is quite petite. So he had to really hit it hard in the gym to get into shape for the role. And the funniest part about this is that Murph is just like the rest of us. He actually hated having to lift all those heavy weights in the gym, and it's not like his workout routine was anything close to the likes of Chris Hemsworth or The Rock or any of the other Hollywood gym bros, but it did consist of a mixture of cardio, abs, and calisthenics, which Killy really hated doing. But then again, if he wanted to play an ex-soldier, it was important for him to be fit. So in order to do so, Killian Murphy worked out four days a week. The Inception actor followed the very popular push-pull approach, but he went sort of easy on the muscle groups and would train them only once a week. Except for those rocking abs, of course. You don't get a six-pack like that unless you're hitting the core at least three times a week. 
The good thing for Murph was that he got to take two days off, and he'd usually go on Sundays and Wednesdays. Then again, working out wasn't all that he needed to stay in shape for the role. Haven't you heard the phrase, abs are made in the kitchen? Well, yeah. Murphy's diet also consisted of high levels of protein in the form of lean meat, fish, eggs, and so on. Who? Killy might make playing Thomas look effortless, but it's clearly far from it. The character even required a psychological transformation. Now, Tommy is a soldier from World War I. If I'm being even more specific, he served in the 179th Tunneling Company of the Royal Engineers during World War I and gained the rank of Sergeant Major, along with several medals for his bravery after returning home. Apparently, he was a soldier during the Battle of Verdun and Somme. And if you know a thing or two about history, you know that those battles weren't pretty to witness. Not at all. That's probably why throughout the series, Thomas is haunted by his past. He has night terrors, hallucinations, panic attacks. He keeps reliving his time in the tunnels, watching his comrades die over and over. The dude was obviously dealing with PTSD and shell shock. And according to Murphy, his trauma was sort of what gave him a do or die attitude. He'd seen death so up and close and wasn't afraid to die. Murphy also mentioned that Tommy had a so what attitude and that's what made him take crazy risks. He was driven by relentless ambition and tortured by his intellect, which made him smarter than others around him. Sounds like a heck of a guy, right? If Murphy wanted to perfect a character as complex as this, he had to really connect with Thomas and his experiences. That's why the actor went to great lengths to read up on the experiences of soldiers of World War I. He also did tons of research on PTSD and the impact of war on mental health. On top of this, the 47-year-old also read up a lot about the history of the interwar period because that's when the show was set. Uh-oh, from the looks of it, being Thomas Shelby required both physical and emotional labor both. But it also required a really good makeup and costume team. Even Killy has been all praises for the show's amazing makeup artist, Laws Schiavo. She's the one who came up with all the perfect costumes, the haircuts, and the makeup looks. Fit for the post-World War I era. Do you guys remember how everyone went nuts over the Peaky Blinders haircut and started copying it? Well, Murphy revealed that the cast was initially a little hesitant about getting hair like that. And it took a bit of convincing. The haircuts were actually inspired by a famous 1920s criminal gang in Australia and Murphy described the haircut as brutal. But he also expressed that it was important for the role. They only added to the authenticity of the character, the same way learning to smoke fake cigarettes did. The Batman Begins star talked to Vulture and expressed that he often had to cancel reality to get into the role. This didn't only include detaching from his real-life personality and getting into the insides of Tommy's mind, but it also meant picking up on his bad habits. That's right, remember how all the actors on the show constantly had a lit cigarette in their mouth? Well, that wasn't just so the characters would look cool. According to Killy, the constant smoking was supposed to also show how truly stressed Tommy was. Throughout the series, if you guys try counting the number of times Mr. Shelby lights a ciggy in an episode, you'd notice that it's almost in every single scene featuring the character. Now, that much smoking can't be good for Murphy's lungs, but since it's such an important part of the role, Killian had to fake it by smoking fake cigarettes. Good hack! One time, Murphy spoke about how he uses herbal rose instead of real cigarettes. And get this, he also mentioned that when he asked someone to count how many fake cigs were lit up on set, the number went up to around 3,000. Jesus. So, from smoking over 3,000 fake cigarettes on set to hanging out with actual gypsies to prepare for the role, that was Killian Murphy's on transforming into Thomas Shelby for Peaky Blinders.